Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my everyday carry bag. It's the Rush 24. Uh, I've had it for, I want to say about 8 months now, and I've carried it just about everywhere I go. I got all sorts of little gadgets and doodads, some stuff I use, some stuff I don't. I'm probably going to repurpose this bag very soon for something else since I hardly use anything out of it, except for just the sunglasses pretty much on a daily basis when I just get in the car. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. So, in a little admin pouch here. This is the pouch I normally use for just about everything. Uh, all the stuff in the big part I don't really use very much. It's just like my fire kit, first aid kit, little stuff like that. Uh, in the flap here, I keep a leave uh, for back and muscles. I have back problems. Uh, I do a lot of heavy lifting at work, so it's nice to have that. I also keep three uh, magazines, extras for my Glock and my Ruger EC9 for when I carry that. Uh, in this side I have uh, two Rugged Wear Mechanics gloves just to have, uh, and then I keep hand warmers as well. This is something I just have for the winter time that I'll change out, there's toe warmers too. But uh, just for the winter time while it's cold out, and then when it's hot I'm not going to carry these around. Same with the gloves most likely. Uh, over here I have a little compass, whistle, magnifying glass, thermostat, thermometer combination, a little snap on wrench and extra handcuff key. Uh, then right here I just have some bubble gum, uh, pen, uh, marker, pen. Uh, this came with my little fire striker kit. Uh, it's just for a little survival pamphlet. Uh, I have off too that I just haven't taken out since the summertime. I don't really use that in the wintertime, obviously. The mosquitoes aren't around. I'll probably keep that in here though, no matter how I have this bag. Uh, then I also keep chapstick. Uh, up here I have three chem sticks and a gun lock for when I want to like secure the whole bag. I just lock all the little zippers together. It seems to work out pretty well. I don't really use it very often. It's just nice to have. Uh, and then right here I have a uh, Mora knife. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It reminds me of just like a steak knife. I think when I get a house, I'm just going to get a set of these for steak knives. because They're just so cool. Kind of a little novelty to have. Uh, up here in this kind of hidden pocket, I keep maps of the area. I'm in Missouri, so I keep a Missouri map. And there's also a more local map on the inside of there. And then I also keep a military style compass. That's pretty cool. It works out well. It was kind of pricey. I think it was like $30 or $40 on Amazon, but it's nice aluminum construction. It's got everything you'd need on it. Okay, then going up to here, uh, I have the just. I normally keep. What the fuck I keep in there? My wallet, I guess, in there. And then I have USB cord and. Uh, charging cables for my phone then over here I keep my Bluetooth headphones which I have out right now and then some rechargeable Amazon batteries it's just nice to have extra batteries for all my junk uh, over here in this pouch I keep an umbrella and a backpack poncho uh, I haven't had to use either one of these things because I haven't been really caught outdoors with my pack yet but uh, this is completely waterproof. It covers the bag completely. Uh, again, I got that on Amazon. Well, I'll go with the umbrella. Uh, I don't really use the umbrella very often because when I go from my car to a location, I'm not really outside very much. I just go real quick because it's raining, obviously. Uh, back here, I keep just a regular poncho. say about that pocket it's just the back pocket over here is my water purification pocket so I have a Sawyer water filter and a life proof straw and the cleaner for the Sawyer and there's an extra carabiner right here too that I like to have uh, getting up into the top part here uh, I keep my sunglasses and a sleeping mask. Uh, I've been caught like traveling or whatever, house sitting, and it's hard to sleep sometimes, so I just keep a mask. I have hearing protection too, or hearing aid protection 
help me sleep a little better. Uh, getting up into the main part of the bag. It's nice that it just like completely opens 100% so you can see what's going on in there. In this top part here, I keep a uh, paracord with a little lighter, uh, more chem sticks and some extra batteries right there. Uh, this middle pouch, I keep a couple of protein bars, little snacks, more chem sticks, and then some one wipe Charlies, which I got from Do Dollar Shave Club. They're kind of like the Cottonelle butt wipes. They're just nice little extra cleanup or hand wipes, you know, however. And this is just like a fold out bowl for water, whatever. I guess if I was on a walk and came across a dog that I don't have, I'd give him some water. Another protein bar, another chem stick. I have a lot of chem sticks. Uh, there's just a sweatshirt that I keep in there. And I have the Gerber LMF2. Uh, not really a big fan of this knife. I definitely want to replace it soon. Just because right here, it like folded over in the sheath and it pisses me off. So I think the strong man is the second gen, so it's supposed to fix that, but it's still really annoying. And then I have a Shemag. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. Uh, camera. Then I have a fire kit. I'll do a video on that eventually, but for now, it's just the fire kit. Then I have my little first aid kit. It's pretty small, but it gets the job done. It's for bumps and bruises and like maybe something more substantial or some quick clot in there. Uh, in here is just a latrines kit. So it's got shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving shit, stuff like that. Uh, in here is just a complete change of clothes. I'm not really gonna take it out. It's a pain in the ass to get it all back in, but there's like pants, socks, shirt, boxers. Uh, that's about it. Just an extra change of clothes. In case I end up spilling something on me at work, I get kind of messy sometimes. Things get on me, goo, soda, whatever. It's nice to have a change of clothes. And up here is just a beef brisket uh, MRE for, I guess if I was ever at the park or something and got kind of hungry, I'd have something to eat in case, you know, don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist of my everyday carry bag. And, uh, yeah, so I just like a little overlap of it. Everything just kind of piled up. Uh, and then on the outside of the bag, I'm sure you guys saw this at the beginning. I do have a little guns and coffee patch right there. And I have a pretty sweet way to store all my Velcro patches. Uh, I'm going to get to that in the next couple of videos. But for now, the suspense will be killing you guys. Cool, cool. Peace out.